Hi everyone, it's Ange from Luna Creates and I wanted to hop on here and show you a Easter embellishment swap that I have all packaged up here and ready to go. Uh, by the time I upload this video, my uh, swap pa partner Jenny from uh, Crafty Biatches should have received it. So I didn't want to put it up earlier because I don't want to uh, spoil the surprise. So this is what I've created. Um, first off, just to get it out of the way, I kind of embellished uh, Russell Stover's uh, Easter chocolate bunny, solid milk chocolate. Oops, sorry, I was out of frame there. Solid milk chocolate. So I embellished it with some pattern papers and some ephemera. Just a fun little thing to say Happy Easter. Then I picked up this cute little tea towel. I thought he was, it's sweet, says Happy Easter. Thought I'd throw that in the swap. Then I made this uh, little wand. The wand has, um, there's multi layers there. Die cut, I even covered the back with uh, pattern papers. There's uh, some tool there. Uh, crepe paper rosette, um, another paper rosette. These felt stickers were from the Dollar Tree. Ribbon from my stash. There's even some vintage one there because I know she likes vintage. And a little puffy heart. Cute little bow that I got from Allie. Just thought it was a cute little wand. The um, straw was from uh, Dollar Tree as well. And in this little package of goodies, um, I made, I was trying to make those ruffle trims from Tool. I had my shot at it. It turned out all right. I have a couple of those. And then I made some with the uh, shiny uh, tablecloth. Just thought I'd try it. I don't know. I need more practice. And in this little package, there's a little... Um, lollipops that I made. I followed a tutorial from Polka Dot Mailbox and it was so cute I had to make my own. So there's and then I glammed them up a bit with stickles. They're just cute. You just roll the sticky foam. Very easy to do. I thought they were cute so I gave her four of those. And I really packed this guy. I see some shred there. Uh, all right, let's see. In here, I put in some tassels that I've made, a pom-pom one and a wooden bead one. I'll try to get to that once the bag is kind of unloaded. Here, I made some clear uh, acetate uh, tags, shaker tags. So there's this one. Thought it was fun. This one. All these die cuts were printable images, so I was glad to use some of that stuff up. And this one. Very springy. Again, shaker. They were fun to make. And in this pocket, I did a sequence mix. I used one of those bubbles from um, Easter bubbles from Dollar Tree. I emptied it out, took the wand out, and there you can see there's the mix. Oh. I made some of these um, toppers here from scrap paper. It was a very easy tutorial that I found on YouTube. I can't remember who now. And then I topped them with a button. I thought they're very nice. And this little Easter bunny, sorry about that. Easter bunny uh, sack that I got from the Dollar Tree. I filled it up with some goodies too. So let's see here. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Shake them out. There we go. I made some paper clips. 
I need four paper clips. Oops, sorry about that. I like this one. Very easy to make. And then I made some crepe paper bows. Um, two with glitter on them and two just plain. This bag's really loaded. Like I went, oh, I should fix that. I went a little all out. This packaging was from Michael's, I think last year. And then here I've made, oh yes, my banners. Okay. Of banner embellishments. I made some for Valentine's and then I figured why not make some for Easter. I also put in uh, Dove Intensive Cream. It's always good to have. I thought it would be a nice little throw-in gift. Uh, I picked up these two from Dollar Tree and just did the, the toppers. baggie of goodies. I think they're, yeah, the other two banners. I made four banners. I didn't want to squish them in there. So here's the other one. thought they were fun to make. Let's see what other little goodies I stuffed in here. <laughs> I made some rosettes that I packaged up with crepe paper. I made another rosette here. This one's a big one with tulle, um, cupcake liner. And I put in some packaging with some fun bits in it. So I always think that's fun. Looks, looks cute. I have another baggie here. I'm trying to remember what are in here. Oh yes, I made a memory dex card. It's my memory dex card. There's a tool with some shaker bits there. Crepe paper rosette. Another rosette. Put a bow here. Some eggs. A wood veneer. I'm really getting into making. Um, memory decks cards lately. Here's another package of rosettes. This time it has some eyelash trim on these ones and tulle. Thought they were cute and fun. I know she likes vintage so I found this vintage uh, ribbon so I'm throwing one of those in there for her. Oh and I made a charm as well. A dangle with erasers. I really had to, first time making a dangle, so it turned out okay, I think. Really had fun making this. Still need a lot of practice, and I even have her initial there. And then I threw in one of those face masks as a little gift. And then I used this bag that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and loaded it all up. I added some fun bits and bobs in there. Oh, and also I made some bottle caps. Let's see if I can try to get to them. First time making bottle caps. There's the yellow one. And then here's the pink one. I just thought it was a fun um, swap. I really had fun making the swap for the Crafty Biatches group. It's a lot of stuff loaded in there. Now I'm gonna just package it all up and get it ready for the mail. Again, thank you very much for stopping by and seeing and watching this video. I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Bye for now.